Okay, friends, subscribers, and all you YouTubers out there, this video is proudly sponsored by What Is ZS and does apologize that the launch has now been cancelled. Uh, temporarily until after this epidemic, uh, sorry, pandemic is over. We cannot afford any staff member getting this disease and we do not want anybody to get the disease. So the launch will be can temporarily cancelled until such time that the pandemic has ended. Um, at the moment, we should all be concentrating on the pandemic and it should be our number one priority. It shouldn't be anything less but the pandemic. Ways to stop it. I have actually worked out a way. Logistics and things have always came to me naturally. Calculating things, working things out, solving problems. Being an inventor, that's what being an inventor is. Solving the problem, finding the problem first. So you've got to identify the problem and then you've got to fix it. So that's what this plan is finding the problem which is the virus so that we can further isolate it get the people into much better treatment then the rest of the household unfortunately will have to go into further isolation it's only natural that they will they've been with the sick person but we need to actually do what is called a total lockdown no one no one leaves their yards. No one goes within, and I reckon we should extend it to three metres just in case to make it so that we don't spread this disease. In other words, like if we're totally locked down, no one should be within three metres. Apartment buildings are going to need guards placed in them so people don't breach the quarantine because that's what it is. See, when you go into hospital, what happened to me, right, I, I, my fever was getting higher after my foot was infected, like I had massive 50 degree temperature. And that's no lie, my temp actually did go to 50 degrees. They said I should have died. But I had the good sense to jump straight into an ice bath. With me though, I was lucky it was only an infected foot. I have been tested. I've so far tested negative, but I still can get this virus. I still can die from this virus. It can actually infect up to 60% of the world's population by July if we don't do something to find every single case right now. And it's only us, the people of the world, that are going to be able to do it. Um, unfortunately, there's a couple of subjects within here that do upset me, and I'm trying to avoid them online at the moment. So what I'm doing, so the emotions and the emotions of what happened to my family don't happen to you I've got the computer reading this out to you this is the actual letter that I'm sending to every press all over the globe and what I have sent down the bottom is a letter to all ambassadors to get the message to the government so that the governments can watch it and I've put enough information in those two videos so that they have a very good concept of the plan but the biggest thing we need to do is the mail. We need to shut the mail down now. It should be the first thing we do. If we don't, we could all die. Or doesn't, we don't know who's going to die. It's got no age limit now. doesn't have an age limit. Young, old, middle age. It's taken a lot of us. And it's taken us quick. There's also going to be a link in the description to Dr. Chuk. Gong Vong, Dr. Chuk, Duk, Duk, Chuk Vong. Um, I want everybody to watch that virus, um, that video about the virus. Dr. Vong actually explains how it's killing us. And um, yeah, it's not good. ARDS, that's what's really killing us. And yes, the virus is like the flu to those people that think it's yeah not going to hurt you trust me it can it's happened to my mum that's why i can't read this letter so i'm going to let the computer play it there will be a few short pauses because it's a very big letter and the program's very overloaded so um i will fix them as as we get them throughout the letter
This following message is addressed to the people of the world. Hi, my name is Anthony James Avery. Artist, inventor, spacecraft designer, filmmaker, lobbyist, disabled, engineer, still learning, an animator, still learning. I classify myself as the Da Vinci and Einstein combined of this century and most probably the smartest man on this planet right at this moment. And I have led an interesting life. I'm also a cannabis protester. I have studied many subjects over the last 30 plus years to gain knowledge that I have needed to do what I do. I am a very smart man. And the world needs to hear my words. I don't care if you translate out all the swearing but it needs to be said and we are all adults in my channel anyway so don't worry. I don't need fame I already have it and from some of the smartest people in the world as well. That's all I need I don't care if you don't mention my name. But we as the world need to band together to save our world and ourselves. We need to take steps to save our families, our friends and our workmates. We need to save Earth and it is truly the only way of finding all cases. I don't want one of you to feel what I am feeling right now. I have lost my mum, my best friend and the virus may have been the cause they are treating her as if she was. They are not telling us a thing it's devastating she died a week ago. And we still can't bury her till Wednesday. Only a few can come she would have packed a stadium if no restrictions. So please listen on and watch both videos and sub so I don't have to email you all again. Yes I'm a bit eccentric but I'm an artist. I'm allowed to be. But I'm the smartest man on earth right now, and world needs to hear my message. They won't be scared they will get ready. 40 days 40 nights. We together as one world, without our governments. We can find every case of the virus in just 40 days we will still have to t That's one of the breaks I told you about, sorry I'll fix it now. We can find every case of the virus in just 40 days we will still have to take further steps. But this is our first step as one world. 40 days 40 nights total global lockdown to find and isolate virus. Talk to any doctor, they will tell you that this will work. As people are locked down, only to their yards and homes. It can be done. I do it every day. My next video is for anyone who has never been in total isolation before, some exercises that I do to stop blood clots. But we need to do this. I am not stopping till we lock down the world. It needs to be done. It has to be done. And it will be hard, but all can do it. I've done many years on my own. We can do this and in the process we can save the world. We the people, but I need the press's help. Forget about the propaganda assholes we need to save the world. This is the most vital thing we can do as well. As I said in my video I will tell you when. So I'm telling the world if we don't do this we are dead. Scream as loud as you can to your governments. So we can store 40 days 40 nights worth of food. I'm not waiting for governments. I'm addressing the people of the world. As all we need to do is shut down ourselves and not wait for government. We can do it they won't know what hit them. 
the governments have proved to the people they are useless in one move. All of them. The governments don't care about us. They are responsible for us, and they have not even considered this. Even though they have been told about this. It's very logical, if you list all the periods of the virus all the way through. It can live for 16 days on surfaces, as its mean time is 8 days is most contagious stage so gives us 16 days for surfaces as mean time is half time. So that means it can survive long enough to get through our postal systems. Yes this could have been cause of how it spread so quickly, as 99% of online shopping is drop shipped from China. The duration of virus and sick is 14 days and add 10 days safety net and it comes to 40 days 40 nights is last buffer extra 12 hours to be sure dot you will see it will work. So many things they could have done earlier, and did not do. But they could double food deliveries so we can prepare. I had to threaten them of removal from power. Which I have already started. Watch videos. They have not implemented enough steps. We are in danger of all dying if it mutates. And it will. So we have to stop it in its tracks. We don't need them. We can do this ourselves. Only essential services go to work make plans yourself include them but tell them we are doing this if they won't shut down the world we the people will just don't leave home stay in your yards let's increase distance for neighbors to three meters to protect us apartments will need guards every floor same restrictions as we do now in australia It must be total global lockdown. Make sure everyone has food and cleaning products in apartments for whole period even tourists. Everyone is given food and ways to cook at MRES if they have to be. But 40 days 40 nights worth of food it has to be done. Sorry people of the world it has to be done to stop the fuckwits trying to break the lockdown. We have to make them realize how bad this really is. Not when they lose family. Now, if we do not do this without them, we will die. Viruses have already mutated in past. If this mutates any further, it could wipe out 60% of the world's population. And it will by July, if we don't do this. Do we have to wait till it reaches plague figures before they do something? We need to do this. I'm making sure all governments get copy of this letter as well as all of you. We can't rely on them to do this anymore. We can organize the food distribution ourselves to make sure all have food. Step 1 Stop in quarantine all parcel and letter post right now it will not work if this is not done. Step 2 Find the virus 40 days 40 nights total global lockdown to find every case globally. Step 3 Isolate further with resupply food to all until the all clear when clear is given Step 4 We get healthy into food production and distribution. After they have been cleared and released from lockdown, as we will still have lots of 6 step 5 bolster all services. Step 6 the healthy to start working as disinfectant teams even though virus should have died we make sure. And that it is by massive disinfectant program of all workplaces, 
security will be needed to ensure nothing is stolen from businesses is stolen from while disinfecting is going on. We the people will have to make sacrifices to make sure this happens. Those out of Sorry about the typo there. Work could be directed straight into food production. On the other side of the 40 days we are going to have to rebuild the world when it's over and it can be done. But let's just save as many as we can. And the only way is to totally lock down Earth. Every man, woman and child and animal, pets, on the face of the Earth. Important vital services that will have to work through this are all military police nurses doctors, electrical, water and sewer all are what government should be getting ready for. During lockdown all people in world no matter what. No money during crisis. Money no longer exist for this period. No rent. No bills for anything we all must sacrifice for this to work. Phone companies free connections for vulnerable we need to make sure vulnerable are connected. Even if just with mobile phone it can be done. But if we don't find it, we could die. The below message sent to all of the world's ambassadors. This is what is truly needed to be done, or we won't be able to stop the virus. Talk to doctors. Submit this plan to some yourself. You will be told this could work. Well, I'm telling you by the end of the 40 days, we will know the location of every single case. 40 days, 40 nights total global lockdown is needed to stop virus watch both vids till the end. The government is not really communicating with all governments. So I'm taking over to spread this plan about needing the global lockdown. We need to do this. I may just be an inventor, but I'm a very smart one. And I have researched this and it will work. So now I'm letting you all know. Please spread this story all over the globe. People will be willing to do this all over the world. How do I know this? It is from real feedback from people globally. From my... Sorry. From my subscribers. Now I'm addressing all of Australia. The liberals have no real plan. They are just trying to look good. The whole time he spoke, I just listened in horror. He has no plan. Look at some of the restrictions. He has taken a few things from my plan. He's just trying to look good for re-election. He won't have a chance as I believe he will be removed. I know of over 20 letters being written to Queen and Attorney General to remove the Liberals and place Labour in power. They have been informed I'm doing this, and that we need to stop the world for 40 days total lockdown globally. Every country, every man, woman and child. The government's plans were tried in America, now look at it. We will all die if this mutates more, we will never stop it. So I'm going public, I don't want fame. I have my YouTube for that. But the world needs to know of this plan. Watch all videos till the end, I'm very serious it will work. And I will get this government removed if they don't take even more drastic measures. I know his office gets hundreds of calls about this. I'm telling the public to make these calls and they are. We need to stop the virus, it's the only way. Even computers As need if to we have don't a take this step now we lose more parents. We will start losing children as they are now getting sick. This virus has no age limit. Note this. 
This virus has a mean life of eight days that means it can still be alive on the other end of post. As the mean life of eight days means a total of 16 days it still could infect. I solve problems. Soon my invention to solve one problem will soon make me as rich as Elon Musk. Let's just save Earth first. Please get the message out. We the people want to be safe, and know this we can handle 40 days easily. If Noah can do it so can we be. But we need a total global lockdown. Where we don't go past our front yard fence. No running round to neighbors for a drink like I'm seeing every evening. There are some that don't give a shit and this is why it must be a total global lockdown. With very heavy penalties for those that break the lockdown. To prevent it from spreading any further. We need to do this. We really do. Ask him why he has not even thought of this as a first step. This is only the start but if we do this we can get more people into a support role. But first, we have to find every case it's a logistical nightmare but it can be done as long as they let us get 40 days of food for ourselves and our animals. We have to build our own arcs to save ourselves and we get this plan to the rest of the world. Once they hear this could work they will do it. So why don't you ask the public and get them to like the video if they could handle 40 days to save the earth. I am now addressing the people of the earth. It will be translated into all lounge so all can hear my words. Typo. We need to do this so our many of us up to 40% to 60% will die. It's easy folks. I'm a prepper. I have been saving my stuff for years and rotating the stock. I buy only what I eat. I just have brought a few extra cans every shop. I use a stock rotation system so my food does not go old. And I'm prepped for six months. I have been prepping for six months worth of food. As food these days has short shelf life. But I prepped well before this happened. Why because I'm always worried what if I'm broke? Shit happens a lot, but I have always had reserves, so I survived each one. And that has happened a lot. But the governments must shut down the world for this to work, and we have to make sure it happens. As if we go out in the areas we could spread it, if we don't know we have it. But 40 days worth of food is easy won't deplete in government to have backups. So be very sensible but keep it to minimum we need to feed world to do this. The letter to the ambassadors below. All governments were sent a copy my plan. Okay, just giving the computer a wee break. I'm trying to give the computer a wee break here. It's, um, I want the letter to the ambassador to be read out. And, um, but this truly can work, folks. So please listen to this letter. It, it does refer to the videos for the information. But all you have to do is go back to the past two videos on each of my channels you will see actual both problems that we have and also how to make masks so um, yeah please listen on and I do apologize that it breaks for a while this is the only way to actually give it a break is to actually stop when you load big letters on it it does spag the dummy it's the only problem with this program 26 years studying many subjects and one thing I know to do is research. Uh, sorry about that, folks. Uh, sometimes it spags the dummy and jumps ahead. Um, I won't worry about asking about my aircraft. That's just to the press. So I'm going to play you this. This is actually what has already gone out.
and I seriously have lobbied every world ambassador. Ask me one day of my aircraft, you will like it, but let's save Earth first. Please help urgent correspondence for all world ambassadors to all the ambassadors of world governments. My name is Anthony James Avery, artist, inventor, and outright smartest man on this planet. 26 years studying many subjects. And one thing I know to do is research and solve problems. An inventor's thought is to see a problem and fix it or invent something to fix it. How to make masks at home HTTPS. Okay, I'm just going to stop it there though. So I'm not going to let it read out the things. I'll just do a quick double stop. And I'll start it just after the web addresses. They will be plucked into the description. Well, I researched the life stages of virus. And if the world at the same time locks down, and I mean total lockdown for 40 days and for 40 nights, we can identify all cases of the virus to contain it. We can then take further steps to isolate those households. But by doing what this video suggests, we can contain all of the cases. Your ideas have not worked, and things are getting worse. At least with 40 days, 40 nights, we can find it. Test to make sure those with symptoms don't leave homes until clear. But it must be done as a global event. Or it won't work. Your ideas did not work. So try mine. I know it will. Please start talking about this between all the world leaders. I don't know why they have not started talking to you about this idea I have been telling them for over a week now, on a daily basis. But first thing shut down all mail. Parcel and letters all. Shut it down now. Or more are going to die. This is what caused the pandemic. It can survive long enough in mail to be still alive on items on arrival. All mail all shipments. Quarantine them for 20 days or more days. That's why virus is spreading so fast. China can get items to countries in the 16 days virus could live on surface and infect us on this end of mail. Stop mail now watch video. I have also included how to make mask video, at least they will help stop spread as people can't spit while they wear one I'm just trying to do my part by solving a problem and mail is worst kids are second the way they interact they are the cause of the speedy spread with many thanks Anthony James Avery for more direct information please call 0000000000 It's not actually that many zeros folks, I don't actually have a phone number like that. If you call more than one one zero, you will get the police. Um, you know, in my country, anyhow. But the thing is, if we don't do this, after watching information from the World Health Organization doctor, and uh, trust me, this is where I get my information, all my figures from these guys and the CDC. And these guys have everything you can look at. Everything to do with the coronavirus. They even have a coronavirus uh, one. Yeah, where is it? Sorry, it must be back on the other page. But yes, there's so many different things out there. I am actually even going to ring them uh, tomorrow, which will be tomorrow evening about this time, so that I can actually talk to somebody over there, see if they've got my correspondence. This must be considered by us. It's easy to do. It really, truly is easy to do. Spending 40 days and 40 nights in your homes. Yeah, it's just, just imagine you're out on a cruise and, uh, yeah, you can't, you're stuck in your cabin. Um, no, that's a bad example. Um, you're out in the bush. No one around. Just you and the kids. You've got a big security fence up. There's a bear out there and you can't get out. So you've just got to stay in the uh, stay there until the bear goes away. Well, unfortunately, the virus is the bear. 
And if we don't find it, we can't deal with it. See, what we've got to do, we've got to flatten that curve because at the moment, the virus is spreading exponentially. It's on a straight line up almost. I've never seen anything have a curve like that. No, I don't think anybody has. This is going to reach plague, precaution, uh, plague proportions very soon. And from what doctors are saying, this could hit that by July of this year. That means up to 60% of our world's population could be infected and die. This is the scariest thing that I have seen in my life. But I've heard stories from my relatives about what other disasters were. I know that in the 1950s flood up at Maitland, the lifesavers used to row up to my grandmother's house every day. And trust me, my nana lived on a hill. Um, a very unusual sight. And she used to actually feed the lifesavers uh, pea soup. She'd always have pea soup for them every day. We've got to learn from our ancestors. We have been through this before and we have failed. We now have a way of stopping this. It's called communicating. We now know and we can tell each other that if we don't do this, we could all die. You could die. I might die. No one knows who's going to be the death toll. None of us know who's going to be that person they've got to bury. And trust me, you don't want to go through that feeling if your family dies. It's devastating. Because most people's best friend, they might, boys might not want to admit it, but it's their mum. When you get a man, you'll admit it when you become a man. Because that lady helped you throughout your life. She's the one that encouraged you throughout your life. Without my mum, I would never have stuck with art. Without my mum, I would never have invented the ZS. She was my inspiration. I almost gave up so many times, but that lady inspired me. She truly was my best friend. It was hard the last few years because I couldn't talk to her because of her strokes. But eventually I did start understanding some of her words. But I don't want anybody to see or feel what I'm feeling at the moment. It sucks. Like I have cried so many times. I went shopping in a supermarket yesterday and saw a woman that looked exactly like my mother. I burst out and I couldn't, I had, couldn't stay in the supermarket anymore. I had to leave. I had to leave. I didn't even do my shopping. I just left straight away. Just couldn't handle it. And I actually burst out in tears, rang my brother. And trust me, for me to do that means a lot because I don't really talk to my brother. We don't really get along. But I was so upset I rang him. It hurts that much. You can be the roughest, toughest man on the face of this planet, but when you lose a family member, it fucking rips you to pieces. Yeah, uncles and aunties are a little bit easier unless you're close. But when you lose your mum, and when you've already lost your dad, that's devastating. You're an orphan. And I'm an orphan now. So are my brothers and sisters. I've got a stepdad, but it still means effectively I'm sort of an orphan. Because I don't get along with my stepdad that well. I sort of do now, but I don't. But that's what family is. And I don't want one of you to go through what I'm going through. The virus may have been the cause of mum's death. We don't know. I know that if we knew it could cause a mum's death, my sister would be on that phone telling me. At first she just said, yeah, it's mum died of old age. But then all of a sudden the stuff with the body started happening. Oh, we can't get the body. Then we started to realise there's more to this than meets the eye. They're fudging, fi I'm sure they're fudging figures in the nursing homes. They're not testing them, trust me. They're just treating them as... So yeah, 
families like me are left in the dark and you don't want to feel like that. If you're one of these smart-ass little kids going, oh, sorry, folks, I am in a great deal of pain. I just twisted me back. If you're one of these kids that are running around saying, oh, I don't care about the coronavirus. What if it's your mum that dies? What if it's your dad? What if it's your best best mate brother? What a, you might have a best mate brother, unfortunately. I never did. But, sorry, I just have to take some cannabis medicine. And yes, I'm taking cannabis medicine. And it works. I live in Australia. I'm legally entitled to take it. It tastes like shit, but it works. But for the, for the world to survive this, we've got to find the virus. See, doctors are, yeah, let's just isolate it, well, thing. But see, they know now that it's out of control. All those measures they originally did have failed. America said, yeah, OK, pretty much the same shit as our government has. All right, there's also the possibility they could actually be trying to affect Agenda 21. Because the Agenda 21 is a genuine UN document. Everybody should read it. That's why we must do the shutdown. If we do the shutdown and find every single case, it means it's not going to keep on spreading. And if it's not spreading, we can get more people back out there to sterilise. And I'm saying sterilise every location there is, everywhere we go, every workplace. It's going to be a, mon mon sorry, a monumental job. It will be massive. But the very first thing we get, the healthiest of the healthier, out there back into f food production, because that's going to be the number one thing. It's going to take us a little while to get our economy back on its feet. But there is one way to fix that. All rents, all bills, everything, no, it doesn't mean a thing until the crisis is over. And it should be like that during any crisis. Like if we have to ever do it again, because we're shut down. No one, money, money doesn't mean shit at the moment. Yeah, you'd go out and buy a luxury item. What the fucking good is a luxury item? You'd need to be buying fucking food. That's what you need to be buying is food. You need to be buying food and water to last you for a period of time because if it gets any worse and they don't do it, you will just naturally lock yourself down. You won't go out. You will protect yourself because you know it's going to be the only fucking way. So if you don't start waking up to your... Like a good example, I need to go to my doctors. I need to go and get some stuff from my doctors. What I'm doing tomorrow is I'm actually ringing her up and saying, Kelly, I'm too scared to come in there and um, I don't know what to do. I need my scripts. And I said, I'll just, I'm going to ask her, can you please fax them to the chemist straight away? I'll tell her exactly what I need and get her to fax them. And a lot of doctors are doing that. Because I am too scared to go to my doctors. Big tough me is very scared to go to his own doctor. I'm worried about my doctor, if anything. First question I'm going to ask her is how she handling it. Is she going okay? She's a very, very nice lady, this, this one. I know how all the rest are going because they're my mates. But if we don't start locking down, and these are the people that I've spoken to, I've asked some of you, should we lock the world down? And it really sucks that I can't do proper live streams. At the moment, I've been waiting for the live stream to appear and it's not appearing. So we have to ask ourselves, folks, can we do it? Yes, we can. Should we do it? We certainly should. Because if the government doesn't do it, the cases are just going to get worse. See, the problem is they're letting us out there to go and get the stuff. See, and another big problem is when you go to the supermarket, you should be wearing rubber gloves. One, to stop spreading it if you have it. Two, because you might not know that you have it. Three, because why should you infect everybody else? It could get to the stage, and it should be at that stage where... If you're not wearing rubber gloves while you're shopping, you should be told not to handle food whatsoever. 
because those gloves shouldn't go on you until you're actually in that supermarket. Then you use that wipe stuff down that they've got there, those cloths on the door. Use one of those to wipe the gloves down just to make sure after you've handled them to put them on. So you make sure that when you touch the food, you're not spreading any, any germs. I'm one of the vulnerable. Oh God, if I get it, I'm definitely gone. See, oh, I've got type 2 diabetes, I've got a bad liver, I've got bad kidneys. Yeah, I'm high on the list. I'm so high. Let's just say, I've been wearing masks since day one that I heard about it. Moment I heard about it. My masks and everything were on. But do you know what really pisses me off the most? It took YouTube to notify me that it was out there. I started seeing um, stuff happening over in China. I wasn't too happy about it. But see, I... They didn't declare the pandemic. They should have declared this a pandemic the moment it had spread to one country. It should have been instantly the moment it appeared in another country. And that should be the definition of a pandemic. Well, the moment it's in two countries, it's a pandemic. So the rest of the world can shut down. And we should automatically just shut down from now on. None of this crap, oh, just let's wait and see. Don't worry about wearing a mask. Yeah, trust me, if you're healthy, wear a fucking mask. You know, it can get you. All you got to do is drop, stop those droplets. Pray they don't get you in the eye. So wear glasses. Put cotton wool. I've been wearing cotton wool in each ear when I go out. Why? So that if someone does sneeze on me, it hasn't gone inside my ear, and I won't take them out until I get home and wash myself. I'm pretty much doing um, washing uh, every day. And I, unfortunately, because I don't, my washing machine is still packed in its box since the day I bought it. I have to wash my hands. So, yeah, it's increased my workload. That's why my back is killing me. But this plan will work, folks. See, all we've got to do, we've just got to find the virus. Once we know where the virus is, we can isolate it a bit longer, wait until it wears off. Wait until all this, they've cleaned their surfaces and they should be cleaning, everyone should be cleaning during this 40 days. Clean every surface. If you touch something outside, clean it. You don't just clean inside and then go outside because we're, we should be allowed in our yards. Right? Because we're going to need sunlight. Trust me, we need sunlight. Otherwise you wind up like me having to take a vitamin D tablet every day. So if you don't turn around and start acting, and when I say by acting, I mean act now, not next fucking week. Don't wait for them. We have to lock this down now. We have to make sure that we have 40 days worth of food for each member. But you, when I say 40 days, I'm not talking going out and buying three fucking course meals for 30 days. What you need to do, you have to think, what can we survive on to make the food last longer? And yes, trust me, as a child, I went through some things like that because after Dad had his accident in the army, he pretty much was in a massive coma from a car accident. He had to learn to read, walk, talk, everything. But after that, he was discharged. M money was hard to get. We were strapped for cash all the time. And my dad had this habit of blowing it on new cars. So my mum taught us to be frugal. Sometimes we would live just on one meal a day just to survive. And it can be done. I actually do it now. And I'm going to tell you something about your metabolism. So your metabolism is designed for this to happen. See, animals only eat once a day. I only eat once a day. I'm an animal. I only eat once a day. But I'm certainly not skinny. I'm actually still having trouble losing weight eating once a day. And trust me, I'm eating healthy food. See, one thing you're, everybody's going to have to get used to as well, during the lockdown, when I said in the other video, salt will be your best friend. Now, there are going to be times, for some of you, it's going to be hot and sweaty you're going to lose a lot of body salts. You need to replace it. Half a teaspoon of salt is equivalent to one salt tablet. 
You can generally take two salt tablets. It tastes like shit when you have to use salt. Trust me. It's just like tasting salt. But you're better off if you've got salt tablets. And, you, and sometimes I have to take 15 if I've lost too much. Because if you don't take them, and you sweat too much, and you're stuck in a house, and you're not moving, you will cramp up. And the thing is, stretch the muscle out when it happens to force the muscle to, to work. It's the only way to get rid of one of those things. And you're going to need to do some exercises. In my next vid, I'm actually going to do some, show you some exercises and on things that you can do to stop blood clots. As a disabled person that gets stuck at home quite a lot, it's very important. Very important. And trust me, I move around my house, I move around my yard. But these exercises will help you get blood clots out of your legs, keep your legs moving. Um, you don't have to even leave your chair to do the exercise. I've been doing them the whole time I'm here. You like move your leg around, but I'll show you how to do it. I'll actually physically get the camera out and uh, show you. So these little things need to be done. But if we don't do it, folks, we don't know if the, this is government planned. We don't know if it was a weapon. But I certainly know that if we isolate for 40 days, we will find every single case. Even if a family was not infected before that started, they will be infected by the end of the 40 days. So we will know where they are. We can treat them. And we can make sure they're not infecting anybody else. This is why it must be a global shutdown. Everyone must be in their homes or their yard at max. No one to leave or go out into the street walking around. Oh, I'm just going for a walk up the park. No. For that 40 days, sorry, nothing. We stay home. We do some yard work. We do some housework. But when I say yard work, we don't do the footpath. The footpath's out of bounds. And it's going to have to be like that for 40 days. Yeah, we're going to have long grass. So what? Man, my grass doesn't get... My, I most probably get out and see my grass every three months. And it's still not that long. So the, there's going to be a few little things. There's going to be a few changes to our lives. And all those blokes out there that are married, now you've got all those time to do all those little jobs and you're going to want to do those little jobs to get away from the missus because she's going to drive you crazy during the 40 days. It's lockdown. I wasn't locked down with my ex-wife, but um, yeah, we're in a situation where we were stuck together and we couldn't do anything. We were in there for 14 hours and um, it's a bit harder in a lift. The 14 hours in a lift with your wife that whinges all the time can drive you balmy. These things are going to happen. But yeah, you can cope with them. So go and do all that yard work. All those little lists that she gave you, go and do them. You're going to need to. And wives, be a bit more sensible with your husbands. We do a lot of work and you just don't see it. And the one good thing about this, your families are going to get closer. I reckon for the 40 days, we should shut out and we should make it a rule in every household. No more than one drink a day. Trust me, you're going to, want, you're going to need the alcohol to sanitise. So don't drink it. Use it. Because beer can be turned into spirit. All you have to do is steam it out. I reckon everyone should have a still so they can actually make the alcohol. Because we are going to need alcohol. We're going to need food. What did I do? I went out. I made sure my insurance company paid up for a machine that was broken. A, a mass port for a home gardener. They damaged in a flood. I made sure that they paid me up for that. At least I'm still waiting on them to fix everything else. But um, at least I'm going to be able to do the garden. I'm going to be able to get out there and churn the lawn up. I'm going to try and buy a, um, a greenhouse. Already got me a water tank. Because they're saying it could go on longer for six months. You want to know something? That's right. It could go for as long as six months. Because it's going to take six months to rebuild everything afterwards. It's going to take six months to rebuild the economy. Because after the 40 days, everyone's going to need food. 
they're going to have, the healthy are going to have to get out there straight away and start getting the food because our reserves will most probably go for another 40 days after that. So the healthy have got to go out there and we're going to have to in, put everyone into work in the food industry because there's going to be no wages. That's going to be the only way it's going to work. No wages, just everybody work to do what we need done. Yes, it sounds communistic, but it's not communistic. It's just common sense. During this crisis, we may have to adapt ideas and concepts of work and community. People do this on communes, by the way. Everybody works for the betterment. Well, this time it's working to get the earth back on its feet. Don't worry about all these fucking little... I, I, I was actually quite shocked. I saw everybody just running around as if nothing had happened. Like they're looking at the expensive TV. Oh, oh, that looks so nice. Why don't we use our stimulus package to buy the TV? <laughs> I buy a new TV. It'll be with the money that I'm paid for the, when it got damaged. Oh, sorry, folks, I've just got to move around a fair bit. So if we don't lock down, we're never going to find the virus. If we never find the virus, we could lose up to 60%. 60%, folks. And it's not a joke. This is real. This is very real. And I'm going to put the link to Dr. Vong's video at the very top of the list. That is the video. And then after that, to the other videos, but you've already you don't need those links once you're on the channel. You just go to the last couple of videos. But Dr. Van Ong's video is very and very important. You need to watch it. It's how the virus kills, and that is something everybody needs to know. He goes into great detail. He's a very smart man. By the looks of it, I'd love to be his friend. And Dr. Van Ong, I'd love you to give me a call. Or contact me via message. I've left plenty of information for you to contact me. Tried every way to contact you. So I need your help, by the way. We need to do this, Earth. And I'm talking to every man, woman and child on the face of this Earth. If we don't lock down, we are all going to die. Because if it mutates, then everybody's screwed. We need to stop it before it mutates. This is Anthony Avery thanking all my subscribers, all my moderators, because you want to know something? I honestly don't know if I'm going to be the one that I don't know if I'm going to make it through. And I want to thank you now. You've all been my friend. You've all stayed with me through all the stuff that I've been through. And you are my friends. And you're great people. I love you all. But unfortunately, the way this is going, and oh, just before I keep on going, the way this is going, I don't know if I'm going to be here, folks. So this is the site everybody needs to go to. The way, If you want information, go to this website. This is the people that look after our health, the World Health Organization. These are the ones that declared it a pandemic. Should have declared it a little bit earlier, but yeah, it should have been declared a pandemic and it has been because it is and it could soon kill up to 60% of our population by July two thirds two thirds that's a lot of people folks that's a lot of people now I know why our leader said two thirds I thought it was just two thirds of the people so I knew he was telling a porky I just didn't know why what it was about, I thought the porky was about just the amount of people that caught had it that came in. And the real porky is that two thirds of the population could die. That most probably why the porky is. See, and I really mean this could be a government weapon. They've tested things on the population before. They tested syphilis on my race. I know they tested it on other races in other countries. My race in Australia was the race that they chose because oh, we were nothing. My, my, my ancestors were black. So if you want to live, like the video, show the government you're willing 
to lock down. We all need to lock down and we need to be ready to lock down because I can tell you now, if this starts getting bad, I'm going to say, I'm locking down. Are you? Because I can last for six months. Can you? I don't have to leave my home. I don't have to leave the house. I've got everything I need here. I'm going to have a vegetable garden. I've got dogs to protect me. And yeah, if I have to, I'll feed my dogs human food to keep them alive. That's why I'm planting a whole garden full of veggies. Because I know what veggies they eat. And actually, I'm lucky because they like the winter veg. So, we need to, to lock down, folks. I don't want to see any one of you dying, and I don't want to see any one of you lose your mum, because it fucking hurts. And I don't want any of you to lose your children, because they're already starting to get sick. They just had a bit stronger immune system than we did. But they're going down too. And it fills your lungs with water. You pretty much drown over a period of time. And if we don't... Oh, and by the way, until the lockdown, get as many fucking ventilators made as you can. I'm talking to every, com every company out there that makes ventilators. Hire some of these out-of-work people. Get your manufacture process to the most maximum you have ever done. And get ventilators to the hospitals. You can do it. Oh, and with essential services, you may need to consider to isolating yourselves from the, your families during this crisis, during the shutdown, because we need you protected and you need to be protected and they need to be protected just in case you catch it. So we, we're going to all need to sacrifice through this. But see, what the previous generations didn't have, they didn't have the internet. We couldn't talk to each other. We couldn't tell the world from just one room. We could t These days now, like this video, could go viral and everybody on the face of the planet watches it and sees it and realises, yes, we need to lock the world down. I am going to try and translate this letter the best I can and get text-to-speech going, but that's going to take an another couple more days to get the translations to this video out there. If you speak another language, please copy this video, translate it, or put translations onto this video for me, please. I would really ask you to do that. I leave the option so that you can do that. So please do that. Thank you very much to all my subscribers. If anything happens to me over the next few months, I thank you very much. You've been wonderful friends. Because I don't know, being one of the vulnerable, I could be one of the next to go. But just please, everybody, when you're going shopping, wear rubber gloves so that, especially when you pick something up and put it down, no one else catches what you've got. Thank you very much. I need to go to bed, by the way. I'm in a great deal of pain, folks. So I'm going to catch you all later. Bye. And thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Now, see down the little bottom where he's just clicked that little bell? If you don't do that, you're not going to get notified. Thank you very much, folks. Oh, I'm in so much pain. I've got to go. And uh, this stream was proudly brought to you by whatiszs.com. ZS is coming soon after the crisis. Thank you very much, and we'll see you all later. Bye.